Hello, I'm Sari Cornwell, Technology Training Librarian for the Athens County Public Libraries with a special video conferencing tech tip for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to join a meeting using Microsoft Teams. And I have the help from some of our community partners at Ohio Means Jobs, Athens County. I'll be joined by Sally Young, who is the Aspire Program Coordinator, and Nancy Stotts, who is an Employment Counselor, both with Ohio Means Jobs, Athens County. Today, we are going to connect using Microsoft Teams, and I will also show you the meeting controls so that once you're joined a meeting, you'll know how to navigate. And I'm joining today with my Windows 10 based PC computer. Now you may be connecting with a different type of device, whether it's a Mac computer, an iPhone, iPad, other smartphone or other type of PC computer. And things may look a little different. However, the meeting controls will work in a similar manner. Uh, if you stick around uh, till the end of it, uh, Nancy is actually going to give some tips and tricks and advice about how to present yourself while using video conferencing technology. So there's a nice little bonus here too. And to link to the Ohio Means Jobs website, we will put uh, the web address down in the YouTube description for this video. So I hope you enjoy this Microsoft Teams tech tip video. I'm here in my email where I have my invitation to join the Microsoft Teams meeting. And so the email may look different depending on what email account you use. I use Gmail. Uh, but if I scroll down here, what I see is this purple text that says join Microsoft Teams meeting. It's underlined and you'll notice when I move my cursor there, the arrow turns into a little hand indicating that I can click on it. So I'm going to click here to join the Microsoft Teams meeting. All right, so my internet browser asked me a question here. So I have this pop-up window and it wants to make sure that I wanna open this link and I already have Microsoft Teams downloaded. So it's asking me if I wanna open it in Microsoft Teams. So my answer is yes. So I will go down here and choose open link. We'll sit patiently while Teams is opening. All right, and so I'm about to join the meeting, and so here's where I can enter my name, and just a moment while the page completely loads. All right, so I can click here. My cursor is flashing, and I'm entering my name. All right, and then my camera is on. So here we are, and it looks like my microphone is on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and join now. And so if you do have any issues with your microphone and camera, you can go here to this and that'll change your settings. But we're, we're good to go now, so here we go. All right, looks like we're in the waiting room. All right, things are loading here. Oh my gosh, okay. Hey Sally, hi Nancy, how are you? Good, how are you, Sari? I'm good, what are you up to? Well, we've been pretty busy here. <laughs> keeping, keeping us busy. We've had a lot of appointments here lately. Oh, what kind of appointments do you have? Well, um, as you know, I'm, I'm with the Aspire program. I'm the Aspire coordinator, I'm an instructor. And we work with people who are looking to get their high school equivalency diploma, or GED. Um, we can help people improve their basic skills, reading, math, writing, and like I said, get ready to uh, take their high school equivalency test, um, which really helps people move on to go to further training like college and also helps to get a better job. Another feature of our program here at Ohio Means Jobs Athens County is we also help to pay for the testing. So that's a really exciting feature of our program. We um, partner with the Ohio University Stevens Literacy Center. They are our partner with our grant here. So um, just to kind of give a little um, 
um, shout out to our program here. If anyone is interested in contacting us or would like to tell someone about our program, you can contact us here at the Ohio Means Jobs Center, Athens County, at 740-797-1405. Oh, that's good. And so, yeah. so we're on a Teams meeting right now. Is that one way that you connect with clients? Absolutely. Um, if you are really interested, but you would like to connect with us virtually, we can certainly do that. Um, we do a lot of meetings with students one-on-one -on -one even. We can do it privately one-on-one. -on -one. You don't even have to leave your home. We can connect and we do Teams meetings with students. So yeah, we can act actually do that um, absolutely. So you can just give us a call and we can get you started. All right, that's great. Well, I think I'll, I'll go over some of the meeting controls then uh, so that we can help students who are interested to get started with Teams and be able to use it during the meetings. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is it looks like whenever I move my cursor, so it's my arrow here, now some of you may have a mouse, you may have a touchpad, you may be using a tablet, so you may have mm -hmm. to touch your screen, but it looks like whenever I activate my screen by moving something around, I can see the meeting controls right here in the middle of the screen. I want to point out at first, now don't touch it, but this red one here that has the phone cradle, if I hover over that, that says hang up. <laughs> but we're not doing that yet. <laughs> but I wanted to point that out. And of course, if you do accidentally hang up, you can always go back to the connection information that you started with and rejoin the call. So I do want to point that out just in case that happens. All right. Great. Yeah, <laughs> it happens once in a while. <laughs> and then I go over here, you can actually see the time. So this is the time that we've been on the call so far. I hover over it and it tells us our, our meeting subject. And then the next one over here, this is a camera. And so if I hover over, it says turn camera off. So what it's telling me is it's telling me what it's going to do if I click on it. So I know my camera's on right now because here I'm gonna take my arrow over here. I am down here in this corner, very small, in the bottom right corner here on my screen. And if I go back over here and turn my camera off, then I just totally disappeared. <laughs> so can you see me? No. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna turn my camera right back on. So I just push the button again and I reappeared. Do you see me now? We do. Okay, good. All right, now this one here next to it, this is a microphone, and if I hover over it, it says mute. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself, and I'm gonna ask Nancy and Sally a question and see if they can hear me. So I'm gonna mute myself, all right? And the way I can tell I'm muted- Can't hear you. Is there's a line through it. Cannot hear you and at all. And it says your microphone is muted. So I'm gonna ask them what their favorite colors are. So go ahead and tell me your favorite colors. You're just talking away and nothing. <laughs> I can't um, hear a thing. I'm not much of a <laughs> lip reader either. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what I asked you? No. 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 Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you. No. <laughs> you can watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the, so with that, if you find that you're muted, then to unmute yourself, then you can push that microphone. And just to let you know, during some meetings, if there are multiple people there, the presenter may ask you to mute yourself so there's not too much background noise. And the presenter or the host of the meeting, they also can mute you. So if there's too much going on in the background or you're not able to mute yourself, they can do that for you. But just remember, if you need to talk again, you need to unmute yourself. So it's important to know where this button is. And the next one is called Open Share Tray. And so what this means is if I click on it, it actually pops out these options down here to where if we are talking about something, then I can actually share what's on my computer screen. So I'm going to click on this one and it'll show my internet browser. So this is the browser where I was able to show um, where I was joining the Microsoft Teams meeting. So can you see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and so wh where'd the meeting go? So to get back to the meeting, I look down here and see this uh, bottom right corner. Um, there's where I can see Sally right now since she was the meeting host. 
And down here, the square with an X says stop sharing. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Remember this one, this phone cradle says hang up. So make sure you click stop sharing. And so now I'm coming back. And uh, can you see me again and not my screen? Yes. Okay. Great. All right. Now um, here in the middle, you see these three dots. If I hover over it, it says more actions. And so clicking on this shows some different settings that, that may be relevant to you. The one that's most significant is this one on the top that has this little cog or a bicycle gear. It says show device settings. So if I click on it, then on the right side of my screen, this toolbar shows up and it's going down the length of the right side of my screen and it says device settings. So if you were to join the meeting and you were having trouble connecting with your, your audio or your video, normally it's the audio, especially because sometimes people have more than one speaker. Then you can go here and you can actually choose under speakers. You can choose a different speaker or a different microphone or a different camera. In my case, I actually have two different cameras. Uh, so if you are, are having some trouble, this is where you can go to do some troubleshooting. And so I wanted to point that out for you. And then to close it, there's a little X here in the top right corner. And I can close that. Now just a couple more that are related to actually how you participate in the meeting. The first one here is raise your hand. So if I click on that, it says my hand is raised. So Sally, do you see that my hand is raised? I do. Okay. And then All if right. I go back over, it says lower your hand so I can click on it and then my hand is lowered. And so if you're in a larger meeting and you're muted and you want have something you want to say, you can raise your hand or you can also type in the chat box. So you see this little conversation bubble here. It says show conversation. I'm clicking okay. on it. And so again, something shows up in the right side of my screen. It says meeting chat. So uh, one of you mind typing something into the chat box? Or both of you. And you can see if I want to type, there's an option here where it says type a new message. And my cursor is flashing and I can type down there and press enter or there's this little send button. Okay, all right, so I see that Nancy says hi and I can say hi back and there's Sally. Okay, and then when I type, you can see that mine actually shows up a little bit of a different color than theirs. And I just wanna let you know for, for me, if I type into here, anything I type will be viewed by the whole group. So it's not just going to be seen by the meeting host, but anybody else in the group will also see it. And uh -huh. then to get rid of this chat, to hide it so you can see more of your screen, uh, you can click on this little X here. And then the next part I want to do is participants. So we're almost through the list. So if I go here, it says show participants. So if I click on it, it can show everyone that's here in the meeting. Now, if you're participating in the meeting, it may not be as important to you if you're in a large group to see everyone who's here. But I want to point out that um, while you're in the meeting, you may see different views. So if there are a lot of people, you may see a whole bunch of squares. But say you want to see just Sally. What I do is I hover my cursor over top of Sally. You can see my arrow here. And these three dots appear on the right. And it says more options when I hover over it. I click on it. And there's this option that says pin. So I'm going to pin, okay, and then I see Sally. So Sally is front and center, and Nancy is way down here in the bottom again right next to me. <laughs> so if you want to see a presenter or something in better detail, you can go here to this section, and you can do this push pin. Now, if I want to see Nancy again, I can go here, and I can actually unpin Sally. I'm going to click there, okay, and then I see Nancy again. And so, so we have this list of participants here, and if I want to close it, there's this X. I click the X, and now I see Nancy and Sally here front and center in the meeting. And uh, that brings up a good point. If you're participating in a meeting, um, you know, whether it's uh, here with one of our um, staff members or a meeting where other people are going to be participating and you have your camera on, then it's important how you present yourself. And Nancy has some, some pointers and some information I think would uh, be helpful to hear about. So Nancy, uh, do you have advice on how to present yourself professionally? Yes, um, as an employment counselor here um, at the Ohio Means Jobs Center, there's a lot of things that 
people are, it's different. They're inviting people in their homes. So you have to be aware what's in your background or how you're dressed. Um, are you in your bedroom? Um, remember, you're inviting people in your home. You're inviting people in your office. And so beware. And also look at your facial expressions. You know, it, you know, sometimes you might not agree with the presenter, but, you know, or the interview. Yes, yeah, so please be aware. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. So, so it's important, yeah, the, fa the face that you put forward. And so sometimes you also may, I know sometimes this happens where you may have your camera down or up. And so it's nice that for this, I have this tiny little picture of myself in the bottom right corner so that I can check and make sure that you all can still see me and aren't just looking at my forehead either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's great. Well, I think we went all over all the meeting controls. We talked a little bit about the Aspire program and how you can get involved and then mm -hmm. touched on how to look professional and present yourself professionally over a video conference. Is there anything I missed? Oh, I can't think of anything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's great. So hopefully this video will help uh, whoever's watching, you know, get connected with Microsoft Teams. And, uh, you know, if you have questions um, about how to connect, of course, you can contact, you know, the staff person that you're working with at Ohio Means Jobs. Um, I work for the Athens County Public Libraries as a technology trainer. And so if you have any um, issues with technology, questions, challenges, um, to get an appointment with me, uh, you can contact any Athens County Library branch and you can just ask for a technology training appointment and, and they'll connect you as well. So yeah, lots of great resources. And I just wanted to add to you, Nancy, um, if, if anyone is interested in working with you, can you just tell a little bit about your services and what you have available that you can help with? Did you want to say a little bit about that, maybe, too? Yes, I'm, I'm an employment counselor, like I said, and I can assist with resumes, mock interviewing, and um, also assist with um, talking about what you want to do in your career, and so some career assessments. That's good. Right. Yeah, that's important to, to be able to, uh, yeah, get organized and, and get an idea of what you want to do. And then you can help provide the skills and the practice to get there. Yeah. Great. Okay. Sounds good. And I can help with, like, applications and Ohio Means Jobs website. Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wonderful. Well, I think that wraps up wraps up our meeting. All okay. right. Thank you. All right, so much. and then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that red phone cradle where it says hang up, and I'm going to hang up. So, bye. 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 bye.